Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a book review on Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. Sea Witch by Sarah Henning is a loose retelling of Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Mermaid. Set in a Danish kingdom, the story follows Evie, a young servant girl who is best friends with the prince, Nick. Evie and Nick still mourn the loss of their friend, Anna, who died four years ago. But one day, a girl with an uncanny resemblance to Anna appears, and Evie can't help but feel a connection to her. Evie comes to find out that this mysterious girl is actually a mermaid, and she has four days to find true love with Prince Nick before the magic that made her human kills her. Evie is willing to do anything to help this girl gain humanity, but comes to find that magic comes with a price, and faces betrayal at every turn, ultimately becoming the iconic villainess of Anderson's classic story. So you guys, there's really not much I have to say about this book other than that it was okay. I did like it. I did enjoy it. Uh, this book, more than anything, is just simply for, for pure entertainment value. You're not going to get anything enlightening or special or mind-blowing about this book, unfortunately. But still, I liked it as far as a Little Mermaid retelling goes. And I do. I really like the story of The Little Mermaid, whether that be Hans Christian Andersen's original tale, which is quite dark and dramatic, or something like Disney's The Little Mermaid, which I love all things Disney. So, of course, I picked this book up because it is a retelling of The Little Mermaid, but told through the point of view of the villainess. And yeah, uh, the villainess in this book, before she is even the villain, because she's she's still our, pro our, our, our protagonist in this book, uh, her name is Evie. Uh, not to Ursula. Get Ursula out of your head because Disney Disney are the ones who came up with the Ursula name. Um, so yeah, Evie is our protagonist who eventually becomes uh, the sea witch, if you will. And uh, I did. I liked her. her I, I liked Evie as the protagonist. I liked her journey as a character, her relationship with the prince of this Danish kingdom, um, and her relationship with this, this other Danish prince that's kind of her primary love interest. And yeah, the Little Mermaid tale comes into being when this mysterious girl kind of washes up on shore. Her She goes by the name of is it Annalise? I think she goes, yeah, Annalise. Her name is Annalise, um, but she she looks just like a, a former friend of Evie's, um, a friend of hers who drowned like years ago. But yeah, this, this girl looks just like her dead friend. So yeah, there's some mystery there that's kind of compelling, like, okay, is this girl... Who is she? Is she who she says she is, or is there something more to it? And that's kind of the big mystery that you got to get to by the end of this novel. And so yeah, there's a lot of interesting twists and turns in this. It's a young adult. It's a young adult novel as well. So of course, not only not only is there a love triangle, but there's like a love cube. You guys, you gotta love the young adult love cubes. <laughs> um, so so yeah, this was enjoyable for what it was, uh, especially if you like something like *The Little Mermaid*. And the good thing about this book is that it does read very quickly, I think. I, I was never bored, fortunately. Um, I was intrigued for the most part. I found all of the primary characters interesting, likable, sympathetic. And, and yeah, the, the kind of the, the mysterious elements of this book, you know, had me captivated enough that I was like, okay, I need to know what's going on here. Flip the page, flip the page. <laughs> and I did find out that a second part to this book was released recently, and I don't really know how I feel about that. Um, because the way this book ended, it, it felt complete. You know, it felt complete. It didn't feel like I needed a part two to the story. So for me personally, I'm probably not going to pick up book two. I don't really see a reason why to pick up book two. Yeah, because I was even reading the synopsis for book two, and I was like, uh, I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, I'm satisfied with just reading book one and being done with the series. I'm not, I'm not that intrigued to be like, oh, let me go pick up this next book, you know? I think it's kind of stupid that this was made into a series because there's really no need for a series. It just seems unnecessary, in my opinion. Why does every single goddamn young adult novel have to be a series? Why can't young adult novels just be standalone novels? What's wrong with that? <laughs> so yeah, let, let me get that rant out of the way. 
So you guys, that is it for my review of Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. In the comments below, have you guys read Sea Witch? Do you plan on reading it? Just let me know your thoughts down below. And yeah, let me know how you feel about retellings in general, especially fairy tale retellings, especially if you're already familiar with the original tale or if you're mostly familiar with the, the Disney cartoons. Just let me know your feelings about retellings in general. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye guys.